What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Jobber Brick Room. Happy Tuesday, and welcome to my review of WWE Elimination Chamber 2024, The Road to Australia. This pay-per-view took place in Perth, Australia, happened at 10 a.m. for us here in the UK, how does it feel, US? How does it feel to be up at the early hours of the morning for a pay-per-view, huh? How the fuck does it feel? I bet you don't like it. I bet you didn't like it. I bet you were like, oh, oh, I have to stay awake. Yeah, now you know how we feel every time a pay-per-view is on. That's how us in the UK suffer. <sighs> but ladies and gentlemen, we only had five matches on this card, which I'm noticing pay-per-views are getting quite short. I think there was, what, four matches at the Royal Rumble? Five matches here? NXT, I believe, is putting on more shows, or like more matches, than your main roster shows. Now, obviously, Gunther couldn't get to Australia, which, you know, fine. But there's certain superstars that could have had a match but didn't, and I'm just like, come on, guys, come on. But without any further ado, let's get the timer up. And believe it or not, we actually had a kickoff match. Very rare we get kickoff matches anymore, but this one featured the Kabuki Damage Control Warriors. That's what I'm calling them because WWE doesn't know what they are, they're either damage control. Or the Kabuki Warriors. They took on Andy Hartwell and Candice LeRae. Now this match mostly revolved around the big hot tag to Andy Hartwell. The hometown girl. But yeah. We're in Australia. We're building to this damage control EO Sky Bailey match. Oscar and Kyrie saying we're not going to lose the titles. Even though at one point... Creeps, my friend Creeps, you guys know Creeps. Creeps thought that maybe Indy and Candice would win, but no, 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 So the, the Kabuki Damage Control Warriors are still the women's tag team champions because storyline. Then we got the women's elimination chamber match where the winner would go on to face Rhea Ripley. For the women's world title, we had Naomi, Becky Lynch, Tiffany Stratton, Raquel Rodriguez, Bianca Belair, and Liv Morgan. Um, six great competitors. Tiffany Stratton was over as hell in this match. And when she got eliminated by Liv Morgan, the crowd... Ooh, the crowd was on their feet in pissed form. Naomi got eliminated by Tiffany Stratton. Raquel got eliminated by Bianca. And Bianca got rolled up by Liv. And then Liv got eliminated by Becky Lynch. And we are getting Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch at WrestleMania 40. That is official. Thank you, Adam Pierce. <laughs> So yes, the, the Elimination Chamber, the women's one, was great. Uh, we'll talk about the men's later, because right now it is time to talk about the new Czech Republic versus Judgment Day. Yeah, I don't like that name, so I'm just going to call them British Strong Style, okay? I, I don't like the name for Tyler Bate and Pete Dunne, the, the undisputed tag team title match. So many near falls in this match with Tyler Bate and Pete Dunne coming so close to winning the tag team titles here against uh, Judgment Day. But if the storyline is what I think it is going forward, Judgment Day retained here and they're going to lose the titles at WrestleMania to The Miz and R-Truth. Now that's not a bad thing. Truth has never won a match at WrestleMania. Which is shocking, the amount of times that R-Truth has been 
on a WrestleMania. But yeah, Judgment Day retained the tag team titles. And then we got the Grayson Waller effect. Fury was out there randomly. He was insulting Australia at some point. And, you know, he introduced Waller and we were like, okay. Seth Rollins announced that he is days away from being medically cleared to compete. And Cody Rhodes challenged The Rock to a one-on-one -on -one match. Cody, are you insane? No, he didn't challenge him for a match at WrestleMania. He said he wants him in a one-on-one -on -one match between now and WrestleMania. You want to face him at Roadblock? Because that's the only event we have. Even though it's a special episode of NXT, I'm still counting it as an event, but whatever. Uh, but the, the segment ultimately ended with Fury getting attacked by Cody and Seth. And Waller did nothing. Waller just watched. Did they just plant the seeds for Waller versus Fury? Please don't. That is one of the best groups in WWE history. Okay? Right now, next to Miz and Truth. Just saying. <laughs> then we got the Mayans Elimination Chamber, where the winner would face Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. And it's sad to say that this match had a very predictable winner. LA Knight, Kevin Owens, Logan Paul, Randy Orton, Bobby Lashley, and Drew McIntyre. A good amount of those guys are on SmackDown. Five of them are on SmackDown. Three of them are currently involved in the US feud. So this match, I hate to say it, was very predictable because Drew McIntyre was the only raw guy in there. That's not to say the match was bad or anything. There was a lot of great spots. And we all thought that LA Knight was going to be the one to dethrone Logan at WrestleMania. But now it seems like plans have changed because AJ Styles cost LA Knight this match. He came into the Elimination Chamber like Logan did last year and attacked LA Knight, even though you know Logan attacked Seth, but you know then same same thing. Someone got eliminated, the door opened, and then AJ ran in and attacked him. And yes, Drew McIntyre won this match, but the plan now for Logan seems to be Logan versus Randy Orton. Because Logan used the brass knucks to take out Randy Orton and cost him this match after Randy eliminated Logan from the match. So Drew McIntyre is getting his world title opportunity at WrestleMania, which I think he is going to win here, and this will set up a SummerSlam feud with CM Punk when he eventually returns. And the main event, I'll be honest, very predictable, Rhea Ripley versus Nia Jax. I mean, come on. If you really thought Nia Jax was going to win, you are Delulu. That's what you are. You are delusional if you thought Nia Jax was going to win. But, ladies and gentlemen, stop the timer. That is that. That was the Elimination Chamber. A couple feuds were set up for WrestleMania. You know, we now have Becky versus Rhea, Drew versus Seth, Roman versus Cody, and Io versus uh, Bailey. Based on what happened last week on Raw, Jimmy Uso versus Jey Uso is practically planted the seeds because Jimmy cost Jay the IC title. Gunfer doesn't have a program yet. Coming out of this, Randy Orton seems to be the one that's going to go after Logan, LA Knight, and AJ Styles. People are saying they're going to do Tiffany versus Bianca Belair, but I'm like, no. Tiffany versus Liv. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, the tag team titles, Judgment Day, Miz and Truth. That seems to be the program going forward. Uh, anything else? Bobby Lashley didn't do much. Uh, hopefully we'll get 
Bobby versus Carrion, or their group versus Carrion's group. Um, yeah, don't know what Nia Jax is going to do going forward. We might get a tag team match on night one. Cody and Seth versus Roman and Rock. I generally don't know where they're going with that. It's one of the most bizarre storylines because Cody is getting his match with Roman. Seth has to face Drew. So how do you interweave Seth into this Cody feud? I, I don't know. But yeah. Video on Thursday. I don't know yet. I don't think I have anything. Because Thursday is the 29th. Like the last day of February. So I don't think I have anything. Uh, at this precise moment. I don't have anything. March. We were a week away. From Madagascar. The musical. That's next That's next Thursday. I uh, don't know when Roadblock is. I have to look up. Uh, when Roadblock is actually taking place. Because I will be doing a review on that. Movies in February, or in March, sorry. Uh, we have Ghostbusters, the new one, Frozen Empire, Kung Fu Panda 4. So uh, we'll be doing two reviews. Maybe not Ghostbusters. I don't know if I know much about the Ghostbusters one to do a review on it. But Kung Fu Panda 4, definitely will be doing a review on that. But that's, that's the end of the month, I think. So that's a good while away. Uh... But yeah, I might have a podcast beforehand. I have one planned up in my head, but yeah, at this precise moment, Thursday, nothing. 2K24 comes out next Tuesday. Positive face, Ryan. Positive face. Anything about 2K, you gotta stay positive. Stay positive. Stay, 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 stay positive. Get, get rid of that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Uh, WrestleMania is the next big pay-per-view. WrestleMania 40 should be an interesting one. Because with WrestleMania, although I could do it one night in a review, like I could do night one and night two in two separate videos, I like to do them all together. So <laughs> I did that last year with WrestleMania. So we might do it again this year. But we've got like two months to decide for that. Or, or, or something like that. I don't know how long we have. And I'll see you guys whenever.